Hey guys, welcome to day 162 of my carnivore journey. And I hope you're having a good journey. Uh, if you're new, again, this is where I just, this is my diary. And I tell you guys what I eat, my carnivore journey, how I feel, um, and how much I eat, and pretty much tell you whatever I can, whatever I can think of that day. <laughs> so, uh, welcome. Um, for those of you that know my channel, let's get to it. So today, um, I'm bumping the mic again. I'm sorry, guys. But today I had um, a couple hot dogs for lunch and for dinner right here, just like the thumbnail. I had meatballs uh, in an Alfredo sauce baked with some mozzarella cheese on top. Now, um, I will say, and I'm going to pull out my phone real quick, only because I'm trying to make sure I carnivorous chef. Okay. So. Here's what happened. I had done the pork crust pizza and I bought two pounds, right? And I made one pound and I ended up eating half like one night, half the other night. Anyways, I have a pound of pork left over. I have a pound of ground beef in the fridge I needed to use. So I combined for a 50 50 ratio and I was going to make meatballs. So I thought, okay, meatballs. Well, I've still got mozzarella cheese. I've got Parmesan now. I got everything I, I need to make for Alfredo. And again, I can use it in mozzarella. So I had this idea that I was going to bake some meatballs and make some Alfredo sauce, pour it over the meatballs, and you know maybe melt some mozzarella over it. Well, lo and behold, when I went to look up some cook times, just so I could make sure I, I cooked my meatballs right, because I had my own recipe in mind. But sure enough... Carnivorous Chef actually had almost an exact recipe that I was in my head. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just pretty much follow his for the most part. I did change, alter a few little things. You know, I'm not going to go into detail because I just wanted to see how it came out. And he even used an iron skillet in his, which I just happen to have an iron skillet now, guys. You know that. So there you go. That's why they look really yummy. And they did taste really good. Um, I will say, like I said, they did, they came out good. They were very rich. Um, I ate three big ones and I ended up having like nine. I didn't weigh them out like he did. He weighed them out like, I think like two ounce meatballs or something. I just kind of gauge it. So I ended, up, I ended up with nine. So my plan was to eat four of the bigger ones kind of to, to maybe make it like a pound of meat. <laughs> and I ended up eating three of the big ones and I was just done, you know, between the cheese, the richness of the Alfredo sauce, um, just with everything. I was like, all right, you know, I got, and it was good, but all I could eat was three. Um, so very satisfied. I saved the rest. So tomorrow I'll probably have those for leftovers. Um, but as far as feeling wise today, this morning I had, I was on the, um, I, I looped again, which was okay. Um, and I think I felt pretty good after, after like the whole pigging out on bacon Saturday night, like late Saturday night, um, and yesterday and everything, I felt pretty good today. Um, uh, muscles felt good. Um, I'm probably going to be a little sore because, I went over to, you know, my, uh, my wife's house, <laughs> you know, you guys know the situation there. I went over there to help her try to get the mower started. And I was like pulling and pulling and pulling on that mower. And I just could not get it started for the life of me. I think there was some problems that happened. It was a used mower and, and whatnot anyways, but you know, you can tell like when you sit there and crank and you start getting to that point where it's like, you're almost wanting to cramp up. Cause I, I just kept, Anybody that's tried to start a mower multiple, multiple times. Um, and I've done a lot of like lawnmower actual exercises, what they call lawnmowers. <laughs> um, I've done a lot in the past, but it just, I, I cranked on that thing a lot. And um, so I'll probably end up a little sore. I can almost feel it. So that's how you know, like the next day you're going to wake up and be like, oh man, what did I do yesterday again? Oh yeah, that's right, the lawnmower. So I'm going to feel that, but that's okay. Um Let's see. I did get my cheese grater in. Um, if you guys haven't seen this cheese grater, I'm going to put a link to it on the website in the store. Um, if you guys don't have one of these hand crank web um, 
cheese graters. Let me tell you something. This thing, I love. I love this. And again, to my wife's credit, uh, she was the one that found it for us. And I started using it and it became like a regular for me. You know, it's not like I do a lot of grated cheese, but, you know, whenever I do those carnivore pizzas, it's a lot of cheese. And and anytime I do those things, man, it just, oh, my God, this this thing comes in so, so handy. And the way it works, the way it cleans, the, and you can change out the blades for different styles and stuff. I'm just telling you, I, I don't normally, like, rave about certain products, but this really is a great product. And you can you you latch it to the counter like you suction cup it to your countertop. And let me tell you, the suction cup, as long as that, that we owned it before, well over a year, it the suction cup never has problems in that sense. Like it it really is a good the whole base of it. And you just do this latch and it sucks it to the counter. It's awesome. And you can sit there, put a bowl, great. Anyways, guys, check it out. Go to the website. Uh, allcarnivoreinfo.com. Go to the supplies uh, section and check it out. I'm telling you, um, you're going to want to get one. And if you order it through the website, you'll be supporting the website as well. But guys, they're not very expensive, but I'm telling you, they are so worth it. I love this device. It's just so much better than the hand hand box grater. Um, I took a piece of my knuckle off with that before. I don't even know if I can show that. that scarring right there. See, like right there. See the scarring? Yeah, I took a piece of my knuckle off on a on a box grater. And ever since then, man, that hand crank has been amazing. Uh, anyways, all right, guys. I think that's about it for all the updates. Um, again, allcarnivoreinfo.com. I'm not going to get into it. Guys, go check it out, okay? You guys are helping to spread the word. Again, any submissions, any videos, any testimonials, anything I'm missing, submit to me. And don't just let other people do it. Be proactive. Send me a message. Send me a link. And trust me, you'll help grow the site. Okay? I want everybody out there to find a link and send it to me on the contact form on the website. Okay? You know who you are if you are just going to ignore this. You know who you are. But if you're listening to this, a lot of my regular viewers, please just pick a video that I don't have on the website and send it to me. I just I want to see everybody contribute to this website. Let's grow this together as a carnivore community. It just is going to help our cause. All right. So anyways, all right, guys, enough of that. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Again, the 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 um, the comments coming in, some of you that regularly comment. I try to comment back and you guys are always giving me great suggestions. Uh, One of the suggestions, I don't, did I talk about this yesterday? I think I did, but yeah, I mean, after, after um, day 180, I'm going to start doing my playlist in months. So we'll do whatever month, probably the month and the year. That way, if you want to go back and say, well, you know, what did Josh do during like, December or November, like some of the holiday months or something, right? What did he do for this month? Um, you can kind of go through and start isolating the playlist down to the months um, in the future instead of just 90 day chunks. Um, but anyways, all right, guys, that's all I have for you all. If you have any problems, um, let me know in the comments. You guys know I'm here for you. I try to help you all out when you guys have concerns or, or questions. I, I try to give you my best advice. Uh, but just hang in there. Keep it up. Don't give in, guys. All right. Love you. See you later. See you tomorrow. Bye.